Hi everyone, this is Amit from the WPML compatibility team. Just a quick overview of how nicely DV theme and the WPML are working currently together. Let's uh, look at the front end for a second. As you can see, I have my menu here with home. There's only one page I translated and we have the switcher here. Uh, we'll go over the back end in a second, but just to see how this home page is uh, built. Okay, and then uh, when you switch to Spanish, you can see the page is translated, the title, and then all the sections and the layouts coming from Divi are translated as well. You can see here, it's all in uh, Spanish, lo que ofrecemos, intro, nuestra misión, cultura, these markers here, and so on. Okay, let's add the contact page, and then uh, we can look how is it done. So I'm going to go to the pages, I mean the admin of Divi, and uh, let's switch to English because I'm in Spanish now. Make sure I'm there. Add a new page. Okay, so this page will be the contact page. Uh, I'm going to use the page builder of Divi. This is the power of Divi. Is, uh, create your own layouts, save layouts, or use pre-embedded layouts that come with the theme. Uh, for the easiness of use, let's uh, load the layout that comes with the theme. And there is one for contact. Let's look for it. So this is here. Okay, I'm going to load this contact us layout. What this does, it creates the sections and the layouts uh, for a contact page. Let's publish this page for a second and then look how, how does it look on the front end before I translate it. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, go to English, and then contact page. Okay, you can see you have a map here coming from Google API. Then we have a get in touch uh, title with uh, a form, submit button, and some information. Okay, let's translate this page. So the correct way to do that with WPML is to duplicate the current page to Spanish and then go on and edit it. There is another way that I'm going to describe in the tutorial coming this week, but uh, this is like the recommended way is click duplicate and the page will be duplicated. Great. Now you can see there's like a Spanish duplication here. Let's go there to edit it. I'm clicking on this pencil here. This is a normal uh, way when you're duplicating. And now I'm going to translate independently. I'm going to click that button so I can edit and translate uh, what, what's needed. Good. We're in Spanish and let's translate. So this is contacto instead of contact. Now, the, for each of these uh, layouts, I can click on this edit button here and then change the strings that, or the text that needs changing. So let's say this is, uh, would be in Spanish, it would be Cristina uh, Save. And I'm going to save this uh, section. Now the contact form. Okay. Uh, as you can see, the contact form uh, layout itself has no the, the form input types are not here or the placeholders. It's only the title. Uh, so let's uh, translate this. Some text here to the right. It was right. Okay, so. something quick okay, save. so that's it let's update that okay now that the page is loaded let's go to the Spanish version of the contact us page see what we have now as you can see we have the contacto the page title is translated uh, we didn't translate the sidebar, but let's uh, forget about it for a second. Then we have this title of the form and Massive Information here. And these fields, the placeholders, are already translated. Let's see how that was done. So this is done in WPML string translation add-on. Let's go here and click name, for example. Let's do an exact match. Okay, so this is coming from here. Let's say I want it to be nombre. Okay, translation complete, save, good. Now when I go here and I reload, you can see this is nombre y apellido. These are the placeholders. Okay, so these are translated 
using the WPML string translation. You can uh, filter by DV, translation needed here, and then search. Okay, and then uh, this is done, for example, the submit button that we see before. Just gonna search. And you can see this is uh, some bit and the app adds something to it, and so on. So all the rest of the strings that are not coming from the actual short code embedded with the layout builder of the uh, page builder of Divi will be available in string translation for translation. Uh, that's it. Uh, please continue reading the documentation for uh, more uh, information.